Clyde, at your service. Hi and welcome back to the Horror Channel. Today we have some great news, particularly if you're a classic horror fan and especially a fan of the Hammer Studios lineup. And speaking of being a horror fan, if you are a fan of horror and horror collectibles and would like to stay up to date with what is happening in terms of new releases and previews, then please consider hitting the subscribe and notification bell. And if you enjoy my content, please hit the thumbs up. Any and all support is gratefully appreciated. So just a quick recap for those of you that don't know just how important a part Hammer Studios have played in the history of film and in particular horror. Paul Farrell from Bloody Disgusting sums it up really well. Hammer Studios has been in business since 1934 and it was between 1955 and 1979 that it towered as one of the premier sources of edgy, gothic horror. On top of ushering the famous monsters of Universal's horror heyday back into the public eye, resurrecting the likes of Frankenstein, Dracula and the Mummy in vivid colour, the studio invited performers like Christopher Lee, Peter Cushing, Ingrid Pitt and so many more to step into the genre limelight. Spanning a library housing over 300 films, Hammer Studios is a key part of horror history. The studio eventually ceased production during the mid-80s, but made a resurgence in the 2010s, with such films as Let Me In, The Resident and The Woman in Black. Then, in August of this year, the British theatre producer John Gore acquired the rights to Hammer Films. He wasted no time at all, and Hammer Studios' first new film is none other than Dr. Jekyll, featuring the incredibly talented Eddie Izzard. Now, Izzard plays Nina Jekyll, an infamous doctor who takes on some hired help in the form of ex-convict Rob, played by Scott Chambers. Little does Rob know he's part of a sinister master plan concocted by Nina's alter ego, Rachel Hyde. Two steps ahead, that is the secret. Chaos and weirdness ensures that he and Nina must work together to prevent Hyde from destroying Jekyll's life. Now, initial reactions from Frightfest 2023 is that the film was very well received. And the movie is slated for a UK release on the 27th of October. Now that Hammer Studios is back up and running, which titles would you like to see get a remake? And which is your favourite Hammer Studios title? Please do leave me a comment. So, until next time, 